All right, welcome into the Between the Pylons podcast. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Chrysler. Merry Christmas. <laughs> uh, this, uh, my name is John, I'm all over the place. My name is John Camacho. This is Jacob Waters. Um, we're here uh, Thursday recording the pod, kind of late. But what happened right. two weeks ago when it was yeah, like, hey, no more Thursday pods? Day. Well, honestly, the I'm just saying, we pump good shit out on Thursday. <laughs> I know, we have some good Thursday pods. Uh, and this is going to be no different. We're kind of doing... We're kind of doing a little bit different of a thing. I don't feel like there's a ton to talk about. You know, we already did our deep dive on college, and we're going to get there in a second uh, and just talk about the the two big games. Yeah, we looked at Saturday. the NFL playoff picture already. Yeah, so so, so we're going to do just just some buy or sells. It's just, it's kind of a long form buy or sell where it's going to be a little bit of a free free flowing conversation. And I always think that's fun. I mean, that's kind of you know that's, that's where the essence this of this pod was yeah. going to be in it in its inception was just you know let's capture our football conversations and put it somewhere. Um, so that's that's what we're gonna do today. I think it's gonna be a good one. Um, of course, we'll we'll start off with man playoffs. I know. I know. Awesome. We're already gonna see some good bowl yeah, games too. But yeah, I'll uh, be I'll be in a uh, in a hospital bed watching. I but. know that's so crappy. <laughs> yeah. Nothing serious. Just just a little uh, just a minor thing that I have to go to the hospital for. Um, I won't get into that. I'll but, come watch the games with you. No, no, I'm no. telling we you, got, we'll, we'll we'll get it set up. Uh, but it, it looks like I'll probably be able to get out for the second one. I'll yeah, have to watch. That'll be the good. First then. One. Yeah, yeah, it'll celebrate. Be fine. It'll be fine. Whatever. That's that's beside you're, the point. You're not gonna miss much too. You're missing yeah. the LSU beatdown of yeah, Oklahoma. LSU. Right? Is, you agree with that? We, oh, absolutely. I think that's very accurate. Did you see the uh, the LSU linebacker talking shit about yeah. the the running back? See, I don't think that's a good way to go about. I no, never, I don't agree with it. I would it. never give any team, what, no. lesser opponent, whatever it may be, any bulletin board material no. because it's, with college uh, guys, motivation plays a big factor. It's one of those things. I mean, we remember Qu- the classic Quentin Williams uh, thing last year at this time where they were talking about uh, – I don't remember who they played in the first round. I, I, I For life of me, I forget. Um, but Qu- they were interviewing Quentin Williams, and he's like, Oh, uh, he he almost started to talk some shit about the yeah. other team, and they stopped. And he's like, "Do you want to expand on that?" And he was like, "Nope," yeah, because <laughs> he knows he's well, going to get an earful yeah, from Saban. Yeah, exactly. So. He's talking Saban like busting. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I, I think you know, I think we all know. Don't give the other team bulletin in material, but you know, guys like us, we love it. I like I like oh, seeing yeah, what they really it. think. It's yeah. cool, you know. I, I think stuff like that. I I don't feel like it's. I don't know. I don't I don't feel like it's a bad thing. Like you you don't want to see it, but. That's fine. You don't want to see it if you're a fan. I you don't like. have any you know hot I mean? take for this game, though. No, Jalen Hurts takes it on his shoulders and just. You well, know. I mean, we're. I do have. A, I do have a question for you that kind of pertains to this game, but me personally, no, I don't. I don't. Yeah, think I mean, so. LSU running back uh, is having a hamstring issue later, right now, so there's a chance, but. LSU running back isn't why they're there. You know they're yeah. Uh, I mean uh, uh, number twenty two. What's his name? I don't. I don't know off the top of my head. Every, every game that I've watched. Yeah. I mean he he is really good. Yeah. Their, their LSU running back is is he's good. Is good. I, I can't tell you his name off the top of my head. Um, but he's he's a baller. He's a good. He's a big piece of that offense. But I think you could plug in a lot of guys there and big a, be, be a big piece of the offense. Yeah, I mean, just, I think the unanimous yeah. record-breaking Heisman winner is the main, yeah, yeah. Main <laughs> agreed, reason. agreed. Um, and then we go to, I mean, we'll we'll, we'll look at the Clemson, what, it's uh, Clemson and uh, Clyde and, Edwards Hilaire. Clyde Edwards, thank yeah, you, thank Clyde you. Thank you. Uh, the Clemson game, which I do think Clemson's going to win that. I I don't know if I've told you that. I one. think it's going to be close though, no matter which way you shake it. Yeah, I, I do. I do. I can see that. I absolutely can. I think it'll, it'll be a better game. Ohio State's going to come with some fire. Um, Slow starts have plagued Ohio State in their most recent games. Yeah. So they you know, almost let it go with Wisconsin, and yeah. then we'd be looking at a different playoff, honestly. I mean, it's crazy because a couple a couple weeks ago, I feel like – or excuse me, not a couple weeks ago. Like a, a couple weeks from now, a year ago, yeah. you know, last year uh, at that time, we just watched Clemson win it all, and everyone was saying – I'm sure we were saying, nobody can stop this Trevor Lawrence kid. Yeah, the, this is the Clemson is going to be back here the next three years as long until, as he wants until, to stay until yeah. he goes to the NFL. That's how good this Trevor Lawrence kid is. And now we're here, and it just I haven't heard enough about Trevor Lawrence. And and I I understand we kind of get tired of it. He didn't have the year that we kind of all expected. He kind of have a had a small uh, high uh, sophomore, yeah, slump, sophomore slump, which people there. are people are kind of 
under understating since, the fact that he's come back in the yeah, second half of the since season. Since that North Carolina game, he's, he, he's been on fire. He really yeah. has. There's nothing you can. I mean, this kid is still <laughs> so so special, and and I'm shocked that you know obviously LSU is the hot team this year. Yeah. We know that, but I am I am shocked that Clemson isn't getting the respect they deserve. And we talked about it weeks ago how that's that's the motivation. Well, and it's that's perfect put this for team. Dabo too because how can oh, yeah. you have. Like you said, a team that beat whooped up on Alabama. We yeah. don't see them get defending beat like that champs, either. You know? They're defending champs, and, lose and, the game. and they're the ones who get to walk in with a chip on their shoulder. Yeah, I'm insane. like, don't give him that because that motivates their yeah. players so much. And, and and I do get, you know, LSU's had so many marquee wins. Like yeah. Throughout the year, we're like, oh, man. Even at the beginning, LSU's, setting top 10. LSU's going to play Texas. That's going to be a great game. That's going to be fun. Beats Texas and then just keeps going and going yeah. and going and beats every team I mean, in that's, their, on they, their schedule. They made it through Florida, Auburn, Alabama. Yeah. Then they made it through a poor Texas. A- but at the beginning of the year, I thought Texas A&M and Texas might have you yeah. know tripped we, them we, up. We, and then I, I had Texas winning that exactly. Game the time, they made you know? it through all of those. Yeah, absolutely. I, and so I, I do get the love for LSU. I'm I'm I am surprised though. I do think it's going to be Clemson and LSU in the championship. And I do think LSU's probably going to beat up on Clemson. In the I think end. it's Burrow's year. I, I don't know. I kind of almost want. It's weird as an Auburn fan saying. I want yeah. to see LSU do He's, good. I like Burroughs a lot, though. He's officially going to uh, Cincinnati. Seeing his Heisman that. speech with, uh, oh, you know, it. talking to Coach O, just their relationship yeah, is really no, good. It's been great. And I hope he doesn't go to Cincinnati. He's officially going to Cincinnati. Cincinnati officially last week by beating the. the okay, oh, we got to talk, yeah, talk about up. this for a second. I was so upset. Now, you guys got to imagine. I'm sitting there on the couch or watching this game. And my leg is in so much pain. Like, I'm hurting so bad. Like, I've I had kind of a complication with it. Paint the picture. And, for yeah, I'm really trying to give you all. I'm, I'm rooting against my Miami Dolphins that I love so much. But I'm rooting against them because I really want Chase Young. I know that if we lose this game, we have a good shot to get the second pick in the draft and get, get Chase, Chase Young. Yeah. Right? So that's what I'm rooting for. We we dominated uh, Cincinnati the, the whole game. Like, we had their number. We were beating their ass. And the final two minutes, less than two minutes less left in the game, uh, uh, the uh, Cincinnati Bengals, they go down, get a touchdown, get the two-point conversion, whatever. They're, we're up by 16 points, by the yeah. way. We're up by 16 points, two minutes left in the game. They go get the eight points, and they kick the onside kick. They get the onside kick. 30 seconds left. Uh, Cincinnati is able to, I mean, do exactly what you're supposed to do. They threw two passes over the middle, clocked it both times. They're out of timeouts by now. They have one shot at the end zone. One shot. Touchdown. We're only down. They're 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 down by one point now. Yeah. Or two points. Excuse me. They're down by two points. A, a two point conversion ties the game when they were down sixteen points, less than two minutes of game time away. Like earlier, they get the two points. We go into overtime. Dolphins get the ball first. Fuck man. I, and I'm I, by, yeah. and like the whole time. I'm so happy. This is the Clint or Cincinnati doing this yeah, it's makes like, me please forget my about my leg. <laughs> I'm so excited if they win. And especially because uh, the other two teams that were that are in contention for those yeah, first Jets five spots, the, Jet, the Jets won. The Giants and the Redskins are playing each other, and they're in overtime at the exact same time that all this is happening. Giants didn't go on to win that game, which was fine, didn't matter. Um, and I'm like, oh man. If we if we lose this game, if we lose outright, we have a shot to still be the second pick in the draft. Yeah. Th- technically, technically, if we lost that game and then lost the next game, and Cincinnati would have won this week, we had a shot to be number one still. Technically, it wasn't going to happen, but it, it could. It's a dream, though. Yeah, it, w- it would have been a dream I held on to. <laughs> 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 anyway, Dolphins are going out on offense. We suck. Cincinnati goes out and yeah. like, oh yeah, they just had this great comeback. Like this is the story. Like you know, this is yeah, this that's is one of those marquee yeah. moments. This could be a great moment for for you know, it's a terrible season, but this is a great moment. Last year, the Dolphins had our our you know Miami miracle where it was like, yeah, our, we, our season sucked, but hey, we beat the Patriots on the last play of the game. game. That was fun. You know, that was a great great moment. Cincinnati's offense sucks. Our offense goes back on the field. We poop out in, th- in three plays. Cincinnati's split goes back on the field. Finally, we go back on the field and put together a drive, end up winning the game the final seconds of, of overtime. It's magic. Man. And I'm just – and just as it's happening, like as the Dolphins are driving down the field after giving Cincinnati two different shots to go down and score a field goal. All they needed was a field goal at this point. Yeah. They don't need a touchdown anymore. Field goal wins. They couldn't do it. They couldn't get anything going against our no-name defense that has nobody on that team. Yeah, they didn't want to Like, anybody that you've heard of, yeah, they're hurt right now. Yeah. (laughs) Um, So we go down, we lose. 
Yeah, we, we ended up winning the game, but it felt like a loss because <laughs> it, we, we went from possibly having the second pick to now we're You're in the four probably, or five, aren't yeah, you? Probably, we're probably the fifth pick because the Lions now jump us because they have three wins and a tie. Yeah, we have we have four wins. You play the Patriots, so lose this week. Yeah, so we're gonna lose. We're gonna end up being four and twelve, and that ends up being the fifth pick, which who knows, you know, and that, that's whatever. I I understand Smelling that. I just went, Judy. I went out there, so I, t- I say all that to say. Uh, with that with that loss for Cincinnati, they clinched the first pick, and they are absolutely going to draft Joe Burrow. There's no way around it. You can't not. One hundred percent. I would I would make I've a crazy. Seen, no, we, I've we seen do people dumb say bets though. right now. Yeah. I'm saying well, we do dumb bets all the time. I yeah. would make a dumb bet right now that Cincinnati uh, drafts drafts Joe Burrow. I completely I agree with you though. But no. I'm hearing people say that Chase Young is so far ahead of any other defensive player we've ever seen, better than both Bosa brothers. Yeah. Better than Jadavion oh, when know. he came out. Jadavion yeah. was an easy unanimous one. I really wanted him. So I know. exactly, that's I what, do so know. <laughs> they're saying that there is a chance that even with Burrow's incredible year statistically, you should take the generational pick with Chase Young. There's a chance. I'm not saying it's going to happen. I don't think it will, but we cannot 100% rule it out. Man, I just I don't know how you look at Joe Burrows. Look at what he did this year. Look at the trials and tribulations that he's gone through in the college career. Listen to him speak. Uh, hear it was how, everything you want. Yeah. Hear how genuine and how real of a like this. You you don't get any sense of fake. And he's from all. Ohio. He's from <laughs> he's from Ohio. It's Shit. a LeBron story. <laughs> it, it really is. I don't know how you see all that. You, you watch the film. You're like, man, this dude has a rocket arm. He can do it all. He can get away from trouble. He's a fucking football player. He will yeah. put his head down and go through a linebacker if he has to. He'll do it all. I don't know how you see that and not draft him. I understand. If and you, you and you have a glaring weakness yeah, at quarterback. Yeah, I, I, I and I I do understand. Understand that you look at Chase Young's the more talented player. I, I yeah. do get that, but I mean, you can get a quarterback like that. You take him, and and nobody, nobody. I don't, I don't feel like the I, Giants are going to be so upset if yeah. the Bengals somehow take Chase Young. Yeah, what do they do, man? And this is a this is a real question. If the Giants, which the Giants won't have the first pick, they'll they'll have two, they, they'll they have won't have spot. the second pick. No, because the Giants won. They beat they beat the Redskins. The Redskins should have the second pick right now. I don't it's know. Different, yeah. yeah, it's going to it's going to depend on this last week that how it plays out. But let's say the Giants have the second pick. If the Giants have the second pick and Joe Burrows is on the board, by Daniel Jones. Take Joe Burrows. Uh, that's what I believe. I don't think that's what they would do. I don't think so. There's just such a drop. There's a few drops in this class. Yeah. 1 and 2. Joe Burrows, Chase Young. There's yeah. a, a little bit of a drop. Yeah, then you get to the, there's still elite talent with Jeff Okuda, yeah. Jerry Judy, tons of stuff. Then once you hit around 13 or 14, you there's another, another drop. drop. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So you don't want to be at the one or two spot with a chance to take. But I mean, do you take Joe Burrows or do you take that step down? You know, you either trade out of the pick and let somebody else go get in there and take. That, Joe that's Burrows. the first thing they do. Yeah. yeah that, they'd be on you the either phones. you have to you either have to do that. You can't take somebody else there and let Joe Burrows just fall. You have to sell Joe Burrows. And almost. do you see a miracle team moving up? I mean, we've seen it in years past. The Falcons went all the way up to four. Yeah. To, to do what they had to yeah. do, and that I was could, to grab Julio. I think for Joe Burrows, I I could almost see. I mean, you, you I my mind goes to the teams that have ammo, right? It'd be the y'all, Raiders. The, Dolphins. the Raiders have ammo. The Ra- yeah. the Raiders could package their first two picks and say, "Hey, take this. We'll we'll throw you a second next year or something like that to let us go up what ten spots wherever, what the, the, wherever the Raiders. Yeah, the Dolphins are only five picks down. You, you throw and you throw all three at them. Yeah, I mean, you could. Well, I don't think it would be all three. Um, I do. To get Joe Burrows, I do. I, 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 well, the reason I don't think that is because if if you're throwing two first, we throw one of the first out there. So we we give up one of those first round picks to go up and get Joe Burrows, and but they'd only be going down three or four spots. How I much know. is three or four spots really worth? I know, but we saw it with Trubisky and the 49ers. Didn't the Bears have to give up a pick to they, move they gave up one like literal a third, spot? They ahead? gave up a second and a third round. That's literally to move, yeah, like or a third to or four. Swap it was spots, something. Though. It was yeah. something small. Uh, it wasn't a huge a huge uh, loss for them to do that. Uh, the, Rams uh, the, gave, that the Rams gave up the three picks to the, do the RG thing. I think the most uh, telling one that I, that was interesting was when the Jets traded with the Colts during the uh, during the quarterback draft of, yeah. of Baker and all that. The Jets moved up. Uh, it was three or four spots, something like that, because the because the Colts were still in prime position to they get were Quentin with their Nelson. Offensive, yeah, 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 they wanted Quentin oh, Nelson no matter no matter what, so they were fine to go down three spots, let the Jets take their quarterback, and it didn't matter because the Jets got that second pick, and they were like, we're going to get a quarterback no matter what because there's three or four. I mean, there were there were four drafted in the top yeah. 11, 10. Um, so 
they they gave up three second round picks to move up move that far up. That's a lot, but I mean, it is. even even that wasn't crazy, and that was in a very very interesting draft yeah. situation. Don't get me wrong; I, I don't, don't think you'd be getting rid of that much yeah. for it. But I don't it, know; it's an interesting. It, thought if though. you were to move a Cincy, though, I bet you, would. yeah. I mean, you're gonna have to like if Cincinnati was willing to let go, yeah, of especially it. with they know just, how just much because, exactly. they, they know how much ammo we have. Yeah, and yeah. what and what they need. It it just depends. Because oh yeah, I don't think Cincinnati. I, no. I don't think I don't think if you're Cincinnati, I don't think you you take away that chance to get your birds. But whatever, that's a that's a whole other thing. Wow, we spent a lot of time on that thought. Yeah. Um, that, <laughs> all right, so we're going to we're going to dive into our buyer sells and honestly, if you liked that conversation, it's just going to be that uh, Yeah, that's moving down the line. You're so, ready. So I'm going to start it off uh, here and I'm just going to do one with, and one and one. Yeah, we'll okay. just go back and forth. And uh, guys, you can rate us, tell us who had the better questions, who had the yeah. better you know, stuff to say. I Me? love that. You, no. <laughs> so the Lynch reunion, the Marshawn Lynch reunion, will be fruitful for both the Seahawks and Marshawn Lynch. Obviously, I'm buying that. You're gonna buy that. Yeah. So, so how how far do you think they go? Because the Seahawks are probably gonna be the five seed now. Okay, I wish you wouldn't have asked that. Like how far? Well, they no, go. I'm asking because so what is fruitful? Well, to me? No, I know. I, um, I just think it's a a great move on both parts because. Seattle had to. I mean, they just signed. They had to make a move. Yeah. Uh, Robert Turbin was it? Yeah. Is who they had well, to bring it well, because what they lost. Was back to back for just for everyone who doesn't. Yeah. Back to back weeks. First, uh, first Rashad Penny. Rashad Penny, their backup court, uh, running back, who's a first round pick and is incredibly talented. He was kind of just starting to come into his own in the NFL. Uh, tears his ACL done for the season. Whatever. We still have Chris Carson. He's our number one. Well, he had a hip injury last week, yep. and he's out for the rest of the season. And, and now they have no. They have no depth. On, in the position that is probably their most important position because of how much they run the ball. They needed to do something. So the fact that they were able to talk Marshawn Lynch out of retirement, that's awesome. That's what I'm saying. It's, cool it's a win right there. You know? But it's it's not really a win for, for a team that's, what, 12 wins? Could be 13 wins when we're all said and done? Yeah. Uh, this is a team that has Super Bowl aspirations. You don't win that many games and not be hoping, hoping to do it all. Like I mean, that's, no. I mean, sometimes you get that hand. You know, you get yeah. that crap hand where your running backs go down, and I think they have an ace with this Marshawn thing that that could save them. I don't know if it will. Yeah. For it to be fully fruitful, yeah, I think. I mean, with the, the success in Russell Wilson and everything, it's Super Bowl or bust for that team as a whole. Yeah. But I think Which, when you look at the, the roster, the thing is, we can say that season, about four different teams. Yeah, exactly. And I think their I think their season already is a win because I wasn't talking about Seattle being able to do this this year. No. After losing Doug Baldwin. Um, no. They, you know, I wasn't that big on DK and yeah, the their offense D-line, right away. Yeah, their, their D line wasn't super. Their O line was beat up. Yeah. They didn't have their whole defense. I mean, nothing was the same. And, and now able to put it together. Exactly. They've, been, they've so, won every single close. I'm game saying already time. it's a win. I think as a Seahawks fan, you should be okay knowing that you have a good shot with Beast Mode coming back. Yeah, it's exciting. It is. Uh, now let me. I really don't think they should be in the five seed. No, they shouldn't. But that's that's just how. I mean, we've talked I know, about it's, that. It's them or the Niners. Yeah, that's it's just that's how crazy this whole NFC. I think is. Seattle could travel better than the Niners could, though. I think the Niners need the home more yeah, than Seattle. Does. I, I could agree with that. Seattle's absolutely. a grittier team. I just think they can. Yeah, they have. Yeah. They just have that it factor where they're probably going to want a close game. Um, and so here's the here's the question because Marshawn Lynch. I mean, we the the one thing that I feel like is a good thing for for Seahawks fans is Marshawn Lynch retired before he needed to. Yeah, like he he. Still had to on the tires, and we knew that. And he's come back. This is the second time coming back. Um, obviously, he came back for Oakland because he, he loved Oakland. Mm-hmm. Um, and what, did he retire last year? When yeah, he's been so, out. So he's been out for a year. Assuming he's healthy, this is a guy who you know is ultra-talented. He kind of just came back for the rest of this season, and he'll probably retire at the end of the season. That's what he signed. He only yeah, signed yeah, Week yeah. 17 so, in playoffs. So my question is, why don't more people do this? Like and Marshawn's a special case because he was willing to let the game go if it didn't work out for him. Yeah, and you know let's let's look at AP and I know you have a person like AP's your favorite player yeah. of all time I think. Um, so I and I want to look at this just truly from like a, an analytic standpoint, right? Mm-hmm. If AP doesn't tr- you know take the you know take the extra beating by going to the Redskins, you know he just kind of wanted to extend. And his he career is getting a huge beating for too. a no for a team that's in the top five picks. Like he he's not he had no chance of winning. Yeah. He, even when he went to and he's to running Washington, the ball fairly he, yeah, well too. He yeah, is. He, he especially early on in the season he does really mm-hmm. well. And then it it seems like he keeps getting these opportunities because all the other running backs go down and yeah. he just keeps getting. He's getting, just durable. He's getting that spot. What if he would have just not done that? And sat out and said, "You know what? I'm gonna wait. 
Yeah. I'm going to wait a season. I'm going to wait six weeks. I'm still going to stay in great shape because it's AP and he came back from an ACL and what? Yeah, I mean, with his work ethic, time, it's incredible. He, yeah, it's not going to matter, especially for these freak athletes like that. They're going to stay in the gym. They're, they're going to stay, you know, uh, you know, healthy. And the, yeah. so stay, stay football ready, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And then wait for a team to have a need at a, at a injury prone position already, and just go into go go into a franchise or go into a city that has a shot to win the Super Bowl. Why wouldn't Why wouldn't AP do that the past three years? I think it's I know I, I mean I never really thought of it like that yeah, too because I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, exactly. Because well, it almost sounds unfair, guess, yeah, doesn't yeah, it? Like, it kind of does. You right? could be a Pro Bowl caliber. I know they're past that, of course, but yeah. a former Pro Bowl caliber Hall of Fame status guy. Yeah. Leave the league and just wait to go catch yeah, that ring. I'm gonna come back. Like because just like, if AP, if AP had a ring on top of his resume, it throws him up into the yeah. the top five and, running and, backs and, of all time. And it's awesome because the story is, oh, he came to this team and then he got them a ring. He yeah. got them over the hump. And you know, the it's it's an unfortunate situation, but like I feel like it's pretty common to watch. You know, maybe I think not. it's just hard to guess where the business falls in that. Like, yeah. what if there's no? What if AP does that, and then next I mean, thing you know, you're yeah. two years out of the league, and then Marsh, you're, you're yeah. done. Marshawn, it, Marshawn doesn't come back if Carson and Penny don't get hurt. And if Marshawn wouldn't have gotten this shot, I but, doubt two years removed from the league. Yeah, but at, at the same time, like you, you can't tell me that if you're the 49ers, you wouldn't look at Mar or you wouldn't look at, at Adrian Peterson right now, right now. Yeah, and look at him and be like, man, he hasn't played for a couple years, but he's still a beast. He's still doing everything we think he can do. Why wouldn't we put him in this in this scheme with a bunch of injury prone running backs that have like constantly been hurt all season? Why wouldn't we put him in the you know at the end of the season let him let him in? Like I think there's a few me, players that you could throw in that yeah, category. Absolutely. You I had mean, a former Calvin Johnson who was always rumored to maybe come back. Yeah, you Calvin Johnson know. could Cal have and should have done that. He could still to this day, and I oh, mean that. No, the reason he couldn't was because he, he the Lions wouldn't the let contract. go of his rights. Yeah, yeah but I'm saying still to this day, technically, he would. I know he could produce on a field if he. I believe uh, he could. Yeah, yeah. I absolutely. Believe he's 36. That. Yeah, he's That's only not 36. That bad. I didn't realize he was only 36. The Lions, yeah, he retired at 31. Yeah, and he was one of those freak athletes, too. That, exactly. I mean, he's generation. Yeah, generation. Um, Gronk. Gronk's in that spot now where I know he's declined it. The Patriots man, it could be, use him it so much. It would be interesting to see him go back, you know, just to just to a team that's going to win. You know, I think I mean? if it happened enough, if this was a reoccurring thing, NFL may have to come in and, and do something. It, yeah. Well, because you, you, you can't just let your – so then at that rate, you have a – like Drew Brees. Drew Brees yeah. could just do that. I mean, just – let Taysom Hill run the whole offense and then just chill on the roster, you know, late into I mean, his the, 40s. We, we talked about it when it happened, but but Drew Brees getting hurt when he did in the season was probably the best thing that could have happened for the, yeah, for because the Saints. He'll he, always, was able to, yeah. he was able to come back. He was able to get six weeks off and come back fully healthy, ready to go, and then now they're rolling for the playoffs. It's like Super Bowl. The, that, whenever and, he came back, that was his new yeah, week one. And last year, and we obviously didn't have a podcast then, but I remember talking to you about, like, man, Drew Brees doesn't look the same in the playoffs right now. He, he just it he fizzles can't, out. Yeah, he can't. Yeah. He, it doesn't seem like he can get that rifle 20 yards down the field like he used to. Philip Rivers I mean? has the same problem. Uh, Big Ben has the same problem. Like, you know, it's certain guys like that, they have like a stamina bar, if you will, and it's at 100. They're doing good. Around week 8, you're probably around like 60. You know, you go you go a little more week 12, 40. Then you're entering the time where you have to, the lights are the brightest and you have to do your best. And you're a little, un, you know, yeah, you're not 100%. So yeah. Drew Brees being able to have that happen set him back to 100. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, they're cruising right now. I Absolutely. think if I think if it happened enough with Marshawn though, or players coming back, they would have to come and do a rule. I would almost want that, wouldn't you? Yeah. To think about being a fan, I wouldn't want that. Yeah, I wouldn't want. I, I wouldn't want to be the fan of the other team. That's what I'm saying. Like, you're, you know, you're in the five C. Now you're getting to play the Seahawks, and it's like, bro, they have no running game. Oh my gosh, they got beast mode. Come yeah. on, that's some bull. Like, they, they get the guy that we play on Madden legendary. Like, yeah, like, <laughs> like, it's like, come on now. I don't like that. Yeah, that's crazy. We had a chance. Yeah, so we'll move on. I'll move yeah. on to your first question. Um, mine is. Uh, Titans will be in the playoffs. Yeah, I I think they can beat the Texans here. I, especially mm -hmm. this is a Texans team that isn't playing for anything right now. They're they're locked into their spot. Uh, they're they're locked in. I mean, they're Bill O'Brien said he, Bill, he said he's playing to he win and he's starting. Win. Yes, I, he I has do understand that. And I understand the thought process there. You know, because a lot of times we look at the NFL and we're like, yeah, buy sounds so good, but sometimes you lose the momentum. Sometimes sometimes guys don't come out on you know a full you know. Uh, fully, it's, it's fully different. ready. Yeah, it's, it's it it a, just changes. It happens. You know, we it's we a headspace see, thing. You see a lot of teams actually lose right after their bye week. You know, it, it feels like it happens a lot more lately. Like a bye week isn't an automatic. Oh, they got two. It weeks It takes to a rest special coach to use that first round bye and the right because bye. you can be dormant and get 
and come out with a hot team and just get popped in the mouth. Yeah, exactly. That's why, I mean, it can it be a good happen. or bad thing. So so in this scenario, yeah, I, I absolutely agree that they're going to play to win. Yeah. I think the Titans can beat the Texans, though. I, I think the Texans, yes, they lost to the Texans last week. There was a lot of fluky stuff that went into that. I mean, they, Ryan Tannehill was, was still playing really yeah, good ball. There was an 86-yard yeah. interception that was, that kind of flipped the field in in the red zone. It wasn't Tannehill's fault. No. It, he threw it right, to, it just right to the right guy. It popped up out of the air after the guy got hit. and, and uh, it, it was a literal mercy. 14 point back. swing, if you will, because the Titans had seven, reversed it all the way back to the Texans taking it from there. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah it could have been a, as much of a 14 point Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Changed momentum, changed the game, really. Um, which that did happen in the first half, so I'm not going to say, oh, that's why they lost, but it, it had a, an effect. The ball didn't bounce the Titans away multiple times in that game. That's, yeah. that's where we'll set it there. Uh, Titans played a great game against the Saints. Yeah. Great game. Didn't really matter uh, because of the way everything shaked out with. Yeah, they lost team in the second half. They did. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, they played a very, very good Saints team. We're not talking about the, the the Titans as a team that can realistically get to the Super Bowl or even compete but in see, the AFC. No, no, but yeah, seeing yeah. them play the Saints like the way that they did, I mean, they can compete with, I would yeah. say they can compete with the best of them. may not win yeah. that gauntlet they, of games they have, in the playoffs. They have the talent everywhere. They yeah. really do. And you got to remember, that game was played without Derrick Henry, who is, exactly. has been you know a big piece of their offense. Top three back time. in the league for yeah. a while now. Derrick Henry's going to be back this week. Mm-hmm. Derrick Henry's going to be going to be a, you know. And they're going to need him. If they're going to have any success, I think the Titans have the caliber team to where they can upset a team in the playoffs. They can play upset for somebody. I, I, think, I think they can beat the Chiefs. I do. They played Pat Mahomes when he came they back. They can beat the Chiefs. Pat Mahomes they threw for 400. Yeah. Yeah. Had a great game and lost. Yeah, there's that no other way around that. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, it was close. I know. Yeah. Now, um, do we think they can beat the no the Ravens? Yeah, yeah. any other team, pretty much. No. <laughs> yeah, um, fair enough. Maybe, maybe the Patriots. Maybe the Bills. I think they, I think the they could play down there's to that. Something, there's something about Vrabel and this Titans team that just feels like they can beat the Patriots, and they've done it. They did it once last year. It just feels like they have they have the formula already to beat to beat the Patriots. The because. Yeah. Because they, they play that type of way, they play that that you know run the ball, yeah, that's control what, it's the game. Gritty, hit you in the mouth offense exactly. and a good defense. And, and the Patriots play kind of similarly, but if they run into that team, because the Patriots don't have a Derrick Henry, they don't no. have a sledgehammer at running back like like Derrick Henry. They're missing something. Yeah. Like that. Um, so uh, yeah, I absolutely think that, uh, especially now with you know. I'm not going to say it, but the decline of a certain number 12. Um, yeah, there's <laughs> Don't doubt him yet, though, because next oh, thing you know, we'll God, blink no. and he's, he's in the Super Bowl again. He's won six Super Bowls. I yeah. fully believe he'll retire with seven. I fully believe. Whether that's this year, next year, the year after, I don't know. I 100% believe he'll retire with seven. It ain't done till it's I'm done. I'm not talking yep. shit. I'm not saying it's over. I won't I, call I, him dead till I see no. a body. Like no. It's just, you got to wait, you know? Absolutely. All right, so... Uh, my next one, LSU will dominate the postseason. What th- what I mean by that is LSU will will have the game in hand and won in the third quarter of, of on Saturday, and they will pull a very similar – it will be very similar to last year when Clemson pretty much won the game by the, by the third quarter in, in the uh, championship game. That's the LSU trajectory of the next wow. two games. Um, man, got to buy or sell. Give me the sell. Yeah. Give me the sell. Okay. Um. I think LSU hand, handles Oklahoma, no problem. Yeah. Um, don't get me wrong. This LSU defense has been known to give up yards and garbage time points and all sorts of stuff like that. So yeah. I think Oklahoma may have a surge late. Like it mm-hmm. could be, it could be thirty-one to ten, and then all of a sudden it ends yeah. with a thirty-one twenty-four, and you look yeah, close. And you're yeah. like, oh, that man. type. Yeah. Well, but it, but it wasn't. Really, we're in the middle of four quarter. Like, oh man, Oklahoma could technically do this. It's like, like if, we're doing that yeah, math. If, you yeah. Know? It's like yeah. if they get the ball back these next two times, yeah. And score, so, <laughs> I'm saying there, there's a chance that it could end up like that just because of the way that the the offense goes and the defense kind of lets – I mean, they yeah. let 450 yards go to Ole Miss offense. So there's a chance there. Mm-hmm. Um, the second game is going to be better no matter what. I, so. I, I hope. You, you know, you think, I, I'm just hoping. Uh, uh, that's fair. So I think Ohio State about. offers their, uh, their best chance with the Chase Young that you have to – Double team, or, or mm-hmm. if not triple team, that much. Yeah. Um, they have two. Ohio State has two great corners that are going to be going up in the draft, most likely. Mm-hmm. It's a good defense and a good enough offense to be able to stay in the game. Not talking any smack about uh, Clemson, too. I think they both. I don't think either will get blown out by LSU. Fair enough. That, that's a good one. I, yeah. I, I'm not going to lie to you. I didn't have a super strong opinion one or the other. I just thought it was an interesting thought mm-hmm. because I mean everyone's talking about LSU. How good are they? You what know? are we going to do if Oklahoma upsets them, man? I mean, because no, everyone said, me and you both just said, I'd put money down the LSU wins by 20. Yeah. I I don't, 
I don't know. I, I'd be excited for Oklahoma, I guess. I, I would, but... I want LSU or Oklahoma over. to win it. I'm not going to lie. I'd be a little upset. I like LSU this year. I like watching them play football. I want it to be Burrow's year. Fun. I'm yeah. okay with that. I've, I've enjoyed it, yeah. 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 It I reminds agree. me of a way like when Cam came on to Auburn. Just you have that, that year where it's just unstoppable. Mm-hmm. You you take the Heisman. You take the championship. Yeah. You take this it all. You. And then you're gone because yeah. then Burrow's is gone. Yeah. I don't think LSU will come back next year and be in the same yeah. caliber, you know, so... Yeah. Which is how I wish, I almost wish college was in general. It's not. I wish it wasn't just. You have that season houses. dominated by yeah. that great yeah. player, yeah. and yeah. then it's you a, want it. You want it to be the story. The, the 2018 or 2019 season was the story of Joe Burrows. Yeah, you know that. It's I a great storyline. Cool. Yeah, I think that's awesome. I like it. I'll, I'll give you that one. Yeah, um, sure. Well, this one kind of goes off of the one with the Titans. <laughs> I said uh, Patriots will be in the AFC Championship game. All right. So, what do they have? Do they have this right they, now? They're at the two seed, as of now. I have a if they if they keep the two seed I'll buy if they don't I'll sell if you're saying right this second I have to choose yeah. I gotta buy it just because of the Patriots I don't I don't think I'm happy about that purchase but I'd have to buy as it. as of now they're looking at the two seed with the first round buy yeah. Chiefs take the three Texans take the four <coughs> Bills at five let's just say Titans at six yeah. so it looks like they're gonna have a Buffalo travel up to them yeah most likely. Yeah, either Buffalo. I think maybe Buffalo. Maybe I, well, I think Buffalo. Well, beat maybe the they Texans. get the Texans. Well, it, yeah. So it could either be either Buffalo way, Texans. They're getting the highest, or it could be it could be the uh, Chiefs. They That'd be a good Chiefs. one. That that would be a good one. Chiefs have played the Patrick Mahomes has now played played the Patriots three times in the past in the past year because they played this year and they played twice last year. And yep. uh, I think Patrick Mahomes is due to win one of these. I do. You'd like to think. I just don't want to play Belichick twice. Yeah. Whether that be Lamar, because they played Deshaun, they played yeah. Mahomes, they've played. I, I I absolutely understand. I don't think you want to play Mahomes four times. Yeah. No. No. There, <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I, that too. Eventually, that uh, in a certain light too, Belichick saying that like, damn, we got to play him again, yeah. or damn, we got to guard Lamar again. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. but you're buying that. I I will buy it. I think you have again. to. Yeah. I okay. think you have to. Far away. Um, all right, my next one. Sorry, I'll put it up here. Uh, Cam Akers, uh, running back for Florida State, did declare is among the top five running backs drafted in this draft class. Top five. Top five. Okay. Now, this is a loaded draft class. He's not the top three. Yeah, yeah. I, um, I, I do understand, you know. I'm right. I'm right. Into, you have Etienne. Yeah. Uh, you have Swift. Mm-hmm. Etienne, one, two. Jonathan Taylor. You think Swift is one, two? Swift, is Swift that high? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I put I put him up there at least. Yeah, Swift, um, Swift is actually very close to Cam Akers in my scale. Oh, really? Yeah. So I have I have a uh, he's he is ahead of Cam Akers. I will, I want. I think Swift will be the first baseball. running back off the board. Okay. And then Etienne. Uh, there's a chance for both of them going the first. I don't yeah, know exactly. I, uh, I like Jonathan Taylor. I do too. Yeah. And then J.K. Yeah. Dobbins if he yeah, if he's going up. Dobbins and then that that fifth spot. I did say top five. Yeah. That fifth spot's up for grabs. It depends. You, it, you could is see Najee coming out? Doing it. Uh, Najee, Najee Harris, AJ yeah, Dillon, probably. AJ Dillon's up there. Uh, I think Cam Akers is in the conversation. I, I really do. I feel like we're leaving one out right now. Nah, probably. There's so many good ones. There really are. There's so many good ones. There's a here. chance so, now. Personally, yes, I believe Cam Akers has the talent. I, I, it's mm. a shame to see him be on such a bad FSU team. Yeah. No offense, because I know that's your team, but you know of how course. rough they yeah, are. Right yeah, now. I'm not doing uh, that. Whenever he was the number one player coming out, I mean, I thought it was going to be like something special. Yeah. And it just. Yep. It just didn't pan out. I mean, we know how that went. You know, <laughs> can the can the listeners just hear the disappointment in my voice? Yeah. Like, yeah, it, it, it sucks. I mean, because <laughs> I, I, suck. I thought I he was going to be one of those guys, and I still think he can produce at the next level. I agree with that his draft uh, position may not show that though. No, doesn't okay. mean it doesn't. That's fair. Not a big knock that's, to him. Though. That's absolutely fair. Yeah. So you're going to sell. So yeah, I think that's I think that's understandable. I I just really want to get that. I actually did a video on Cam Akers uh, for, on YouTube. If you guys want to watch it, it's like a 17 minute in depth Throw kind of thing plug. on I like on, it. on Cam Akers. Um, and I made my own I made my own thumbnail. And it looks really good, and I was very happy about it. Um, uh, but yeah, no, I I can agree. Like I said, I I think he's gonna be fighting for that fifth spot. He could be right there, five, no yeah, problem. Though. But I mean, I could also see him at seven. Has Dobbins declared? Like, I think I, I think I know I know he hasn't yet because their season's not over. Yeah, Chase I don't think so. I, I don't think a lot of these guys are are going to declare yet. But I mean, man, you're stupid if you're running back at that level and you don't yeah. go out. You, you're just stupid. You have to do it. Um, there's just too much shit that can go wrong. You go make go make your money while you can. Oh no doubt. Um, Najee or Dobbins though, if if they stay for whatever reason, yeah, uh, yeah I'd say Akers yeah. could easily. When's, this is a random one you'd probably know better than I would. When's the last time a high level running back stayed in school? 
gosh, at that level, like yeah, like ten point. I'm talking where we knew they were. They, I mean, first round running back is very, very rare. So we'll say uh, easy second to first, you know, area. I need to do some research because I think, like you said, a lot of times with it being a, such a short shelf life, yeah. Go, go. Yeah. Go so get it. Is, so not off the top to, of your head. I can't think of To have a great junior year that good to where they're already talking you being number one running back, yeah. to stay after that and take it's on tough. a bigger beating. Yeah. Yeah. It's just kind of like, why? You can't go higher, you know, yeah. in a certain way. Um, this is my last one for this year's playoffs, too, on the buy okay. sales. I have more after this, but yeah, this absolutely. is the last one concerning the playoffs. Yeah. One. Uh, Vikings can win a playoff game. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, Vikings are – a notch below any I feel like any of the other top NFC teams yeah. and I, I don't mean that as an insult it's just kind of where they're at right now it's just how elite uh, that top but, four is but a notch below is not far enough to where they can't win they can beat they can beat I'll, I'll go so far as to say they can beat every team in the playoffs they, yeah, they, can, they can go to the Super Bowl I don't think they will I don't think they're going to put together that many good games but it, with a healthy, you need a healthy, healthy Dalvin Cook. You want uh, Madison back. It was really rough watching them play. It was bad, the man. I was so upset. Yeah, that was rough. That, that was not a good game. It, it wasn't set up. And, and the sad part is the first half pretty much played right into y'all's hand. Everything, Perfect. everything that could go wrong we for had the less Packers. Than Seventy yards of offense. Yeah, everything we that could go wrong for the Packers went wrong, and y'all, y'all were only uh, able to be up by one point at half. Uh, it was, it was rough to it's watch. It's just a problem seeing Thielen banged up, Diggs kind of banged yeah, up, you and had a lot of injuries. It's yeah, tough. and then it's third and eight. And it's like, yeah. where is he going with the ball? The the other the other unfortunate thing is Vikings are gonna end up being what the the three seed or the six, six. seed the six seed with how many wins you you have double digit wins we're gonna be at oh yeah no we'll be at uh, eleven yeah after, you're gonna be at eleven week. eleven wins and you you're, you got the six seed and that sucks and you're gonna end up probably having to play the, the Saints. so we have to go play the three at the uh, same honestly at you're the hoping dome. it's the Packers. Yeah, no joke. I'd you'd be rather fine play with the that. Packers. You'd, you'd rather get, have a shot at, at Aaron Rodgers again because if Aaron Rodgers has a bad game, which he's had a couple this year, he's just happened to have him against. I don't a really think Aaron Rodgers played teams. a good game last week. I really don't. He I played th- a good second half. He said, "Yeah, okay." He played I a good mean, they, half. they ended up winning the game, yeah. but the first half he did not look like himself at no, all. I absolutely agree. It, it's been very strange because the the Packers have been one of those teams where no one's really talking about them, and the, deservedly so because they don't really deserve to be talked about. But it's. It's one of those things where, like, every bad game that Rodgers has played has been against a really bad football team. They've been able to win and, and, and you know, overcome anyway. So the average fan looks at the Packers and is like, oh, man, Packers are yeah. one, some, one of the best teams in the NFL, and they're not. They're really I, not. I really don't think they're, yeah. The Vikings and Packers are on the same level. Exactly. They really are. Now, they have the potential which team shows up and yeah, plays. Yeah. It, they're kind of opposite, though. Now, we're there and Rodgers taking over exactly. with Dalvin. But. But, but I will say the exact same thing about the Packers. Packers can go to the Super Bowl. Packers can go out and beat any, if any that football defense, team out there. If that defensive line could get pressure like they did against us. Man, Zedarius and, Smith went off. Oh, he did. It insane. And I, it was abysmal for the Vikings O-line, though. Yeah. I mean, that was... Oh, man. They, we were yeah. not doing ourselves I thought, any favors. I Bradbury, Bradbury's been playing well all year. Your center that you drafted in the first yeah. round has been a good center. Pro Football Focus gave him a zero for that game. Yeah, a legit zero. He, he played so well the rest of the season that they just... they did. I don't know what was going on. Maybe he had an in- injury. Maybe there's something wrong. I don't know. But yeah, he, he did not look... Packers were lining down three and getting to Kirk. Lining crazy. down three too, yeah. and, and and man, I I don't want to hear anybody say, oh, Kirk Kirk Cousins' fault. None of this was Kirk Cousins' no. fault. I, didn't I have watched, time to do anything. I watched the game. I I, I felt like even the interception uh, deep, it wasn't perfectly placed. Oh yeah, it wasn't. He it was a little bit behind him where Diggs was gonna have to fight for the Diggs ball. Diggs trips, but Diggs trips and he doesn't get. A, there's no way he intercepts that if Diggs is, is standing. Yeah, up. he was going there's up for it. It would have been just yeah, a bad. Yeah, I thought it. I thought it should have. I thought there should have been a, a flag out there for tripping. I mean, because because the, the corner <laughs> falls and he takes Diggs down with him, which and leaves the safety, the safety and the just to catch right it. there to catch it. Yeah. Catch and runs it back. Easy catch. <coughs> that's not that's not a uh, cousin's but, fault. But what did cousins. we hear? Though? What did we hear after the game though? Kirk oh. 0 and nine in Monday Night Football games. Yeah, and that, there you and go. That, that, it sucks, and I think some of that is you know Kirk Cousins comes out a little slow, but he didn't this week. He he couldn't get help. He couldn't get behind. He was having to buy time for three yard out routes. Like he, he couldn't do anything. He just Legit, couldn't. yeah. Um, Legitimately, yeah. he was having to scramble out of the pocket and do things that he never does. Yeah. To throw a check down to the tight end. Yeah. It was. It, it just wasn't a great game for the team. It was a team loss. All right. Enough but, about me getting upset about my yeah, fans. It's fine. We'll yeah, go. We'll go uh, to me. No one can go through Baltimore in the AFC. So Man, there's, there's I, not a they team, have, they have there's not team that can go to Baltimore and win. Which in turn does say, oh, they're going to the Super Bowl. I know. I'm trying. Well, I'm trying to think. I'm, yeah. I'm crunching numbers in my head. <laughs> 
The only team I think that that could, yeah, (laughs) the only team I think that can do it is the Chiefs. You think the Chiefs are the only one? Yes, and they're they're going to end up being the three seed. I think it's the offense. I think that's the only way. I I just well, then that that's only going to happen in the in the AFC Championship. Yes, so Chiefs have to get to the AFC Championship. Yes, that's just the way I feel. So pretty much, I would buy that with one little variable behind it because I don't think the Patriots will be able to go into Baltimore and do it. Yeah, I don't. don't, Like I said, as much as I like Belichick being able to scheme again and stuff. Yeah. I just don't think the don't Patriots' think the team have lack enough. of offensive yeah. firepower can keep up with that. I agree with that. I think the Chiefs have a chance. I mean, they could yeah. be in a shootout, and I, they I might actually, be able to contain Lamar a little I, bit. I feel, it's funny you said that because I feel like on this show, at the midseason point, we were like, okay, where are we at in the Super Bowl? You know, yeah. We did one of those kind of segments, and I said, I have the Chiefs because I think the Chiefs can beat Baltimore. I think they're the only team that can go in and beat Baltimore. I, I actually agree with you there. Yeah. I think that's a, I think that's a good call. I don't think the Chiefs are going to get to Baltimore. I don't think they're – I, I really, That's what sucks yeah. about the Chiefs is that there's a chance they could drop one early. We just said the, the Titans the have Chiefs, a chance to beat. The Chiefs could lose to the Titans in the first round. The Chiefs could lose to the Patriots or the or the Bills in the second round. I could see them losing to the Texans, and yeah, I can see them beating the Baltimore Ravens. I can also see them losing to the Baltimore. Ravens. Exactly, like, it's one of they're such a wild card team. They're they're a scary team to see in the playoffs, but they're they're kind of they're missing some serious pieces to yeah. be like a very Baltimore scary, has scary the easy. Team. I wouldn't say easy, but they have a road to the Super Bowl where yeah, they get, then they get to play the big boy in the NFC, whichever yeah. one survives that. Now, the, keep an eye on uh, on this uh, injury, the the uh, Ingram injury. Ingram yeah. got hurt. They need and, him. And Ingram is kind of the lifeblood of that running game. I mean, the, it's the, different when you don't have the running two, backs. Yeah, running when, when you don't have the 220 pound Mark Ingram yeah. coming to roll right yeah. over. Now, they yeah. have other guys, but they don't have anybody that is Mark Ingram. I mean, it's just. Just it's as Hill isn't the same as yeah. that. Yeah. And we, we. He does great when he's both of them are on the field and they're running the pistol read option. Oh, yeah. That's perfect. Yeah. But do you, you, you want to have, have to do you want to have to dive at Lamar and hope not to get your ankles broke, or do you want to get run over by yeah. by Ingram? It's it's tough. Um, which is, I mean, it's the magic of that offense. That's what mm-hmm. makes it work so well. You have to put big enough guys that can handle Ingram, but then fast enough and quick enough guys that can handle uh, Lamar, and that's just and it's tough, just not that's tough to find. Yeah. Um, all right. So that, that's a you said we didn't you know we didn't even compare our questions either, but it rolls with my next one with Lamar. Okay. Um, I'm saying Russell Wilson should be a co-MVP with Lamar Jackson. We've seen co-MVPs before. Steve McNair pulled it off with Peyton Manning in 2003. Brett Favre pulled it off with Barry Sanders in 97. No. So. Okay. Um, you think it's that far of a gap? I, I think it's enough of a gap not to. I, I do think I do think if Lamar wasn't you know considered, if, if mm-hmm. Lamar didn't play this season, it's Russell Wilson. But uh, co-MVP. They, okay. they're allowed to I, I give. get that. I get that. I... I think there is just as much an argument for for Russell Wilson as there is for for CMC. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I see that. Yeah, you're saying, you see what I'm saying? You have Lamar at one, <laughs> then you have Lamar's the two A two. We've never seen before. Yeah, you know, we've never seen a guy with his skill be put into an offense that perfectly, you know, you know, perfectly coincides with his skill teams. And, and just beats teams in a way that we really haven't seen. Not not this level, not this consistency all season. Usually teams like this fizzle out, it seems like, and this team hasn't, and it doesn't look like they're going to. Uh, the reason I, I sell, though, is because Russell Wilson has kind of had a little bit of a lull, I feel mm-hmm. like, in the middle of the season. He's still great. He's still putting up those numbers. Uh, it wasn't... It, it did. It did decline just a touch, and not the, not the, his. The loss, they just lost the yeah, Cardinals. Not I mean, his yeah. skill set alone decide, decline. That's not what I'm saying. But the team, you know, they they had a they had a rough patch, and and Russell Wilson's uh, numbers. I don't feel like you know stayed just stayed like on MVP yeah, level. Yeah, yeah. I don't think so. I don't. Not not to me. Uh, that was a good question. Yeah, I love doing this where I have no idea what you asked and you have no idea what I asked. I like this. Um, Until we right. have the same one. Yeah, right. <laughs> I, I am genuinely nervous about that. <laughs> Actually, I don't think we will at this point because mine starts to get a little weird. Um, oh God! So not this one though. No, this is a low key great quarterback draft class. Yeah, yeah. we're going back draft. I know we're kind of all over the place, guys. Like I said, we didn't plan this, so no, we I'm going we literally back to before draft. the show said come up with uh, what seven or eight by yeah. ourselves. So we did. So yeah. it was like and whatever we're thinking. We're like, man, I don't know if this is going to be long enough. We're th- forty three minutes in, and we're halfway. Yeah, so <laughs> we're cruising. So there we go. Um, yeah, so uh, the Washington quarterback Jacob Eason. Uh, Jacob Eason, thank you. He just declared. Mm-hmm. Um, I think he's. He, I think he was number five on Matt Miller's big yeah. board. I don't know where he'd be on mine, but he's gonna be he's gonna be high. I think he's a good quarterback. Um, how good is this draft class in your opinion? Quarterback wise, yeah, just quarterback um, growth. Yeah, where's the buy or sell? Oh, oh, that it's a deep that it's a that buy. This is, this yeah, is I a buy deep. that it's a deep class. Yeah. Um, 
I don't. I think Eason's better than Fromm. Fromm technically oh, yeah. goes above Fromm, him. I don't Ward, though. Oh, I don't think. Oh, really? Yeah, technically. Fromm, Fromm is in the top five on, on Matt Miller's board. Let me look it up. Let okay. me look it up. Give well, me just I, a minute. I, um, if, if that's the case, I disagree. I'll, I'll talk for a second. Um, yeah, I don't think. I don't think. Why? Fromm, Why is Fromm? Not well, good? yeah, I don't think Fromm deserves to be mentioned among the top quarterbacks in the draft class. So Fromm deserves to be one of the third fourth round picks kind of guys who's going to go in and be a backup and maybe he can be a backup for the right team maybe he'll get a shot you know a couple years down the line uh, he'll, he'll be you know the the Steelers uh, quarterback that they got in the third round what was his name uh, that got hurt this year uh, Mason Rudolph Mason Rudolph thank you I yeah. lost his name Mason Rudolph I think he's that kind of guy he's a he's a Mason Rudolph type of quarterback and maybe not talent wise but like that's where he's going to go in the draft maybe do a third round pick uh, third fourth round guy who's gonna you know maybe get a shot but no he's not he's not among the elite quarterbacks in this draft class the elite quarterbacks in this draft class uh, Joe Burrow is obviously number one uh, then then you're gonna kind of come some conversations there if two is healthy people are gonna talk about Tua I personally think he two is three in my list and then uh, uh, Herbert would be would be number two then then you have a couple guys Eason's gonna be one I I think I haven't done the research, but I probably would have put Eason four. Uh, now that he's declared, uh, we this came out on November fifth, and uh, this one has Joe Burrow's Tua, um, Justin Herbert, yeah, Justin Jake Herbert. Fromm, and Eason is not in that top thirty-two. Okay. So Eason will come right after well, that. I'm sure he should show the quarterbacks all together right there. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah, Jacob Eason was six. Jordan Love. Jordan Love was the other guy. Jordan yeah. Love I really like out of Utah. Uh, played good in that bowl game, too. Yeah. He did. Jordan Man, Love. I, yeah, I'm surprised by that. I don't think Jake Fromm should be in the top four on his. And we're talking about Matt Miller, who I think we both really appreciate and, and yeah. respect. He's one of our favorites. We we went to a podcast recording of his once yeah, just, 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 to, just to, watch. to see him. Um, so, yeah, I have a lot so of respect out, for Matt I, Miller. I would say it's a deep classic because you still have Jalen Hurts. Yeah. You still have Jordan Love. Yeah. Jalen Hurts is going to go so much higher because of what Lamar's done this year. Yeah, I mean, it shows that you can, yeah. you know. There's going to be so many Lynn teams Bowden that are Jr. like, Lynn Bowden Jr. out of Kentucky is going to get drafted solely on the fact that yeah. you can plug him it's in gonna there. Be, it's going to be the same kind of thing that they do with uh, um, the guy down in uh, 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 Hill, the guy in, for the Saints. Uh, yeah, I feel like him. I feel like you take, you take Jalen Hurts, like, okay, this isn't like a true quarterback guy. But let's keep him in the system. Dude let's loves let's, football. let's put some let's yeah. put some different let's put him in a couple different situations and over the time he's gonna develop an arm and he's gonna have that opportunity to, to be a starter. I think that's what Hill's gonna do over over time. Two is a big uh, question mark for me in this two class. Is a no huge joke. question mark for me. Yeah. I had questions before he got hurt. Yeah. I, I said that. I said yeah. that I wasn't you know I've I think we both agree, which kind of sucks because this is this is one of my more hot takey takes. But I that don't I think, agree with you too. Yeah, yeah. That I don't think Tua should be among the like the guaranteed elite guys. I have I don't have a problem with him going in the first round, go in the bottom half of the first round. A lot of guys go in the first round if you're a quarterback. I don't think he's one of those slam dunks. Last like, I checked, he was going to the Dolphins. He was going to y'all. Stupid. That's right now. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. There's there's a lot of different. Uh, you know, and it's all it's all mock drafts. It's not real. Yeah, I understand that, but I mean, pe- people think that he has the ability hurt to go to the Dolphins. I thought that was crazy. Uh, you know, and that's still a top five pick, is what we're saying. Um, yeah, yeah. I, healthy. I was doubting. Healthy. It. I didn't think that he was. I didn't think he was ever good enough to be like, let's tank for this guy. And, you know, that was always the tank for two a talk for the Dolphins. And I was like, no, 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 no. I don't want him that mm-hmm. bad. You've said that to like, me. I mean, we can yeah, show him. Absolutely. You've um, stuck next to that. But I do think this quarterback class is, is kind of getting low-key good because no one's really been talking about it, you know. It's and, better than – I think it can go back to the Josh Allen. Uh, ooh, that's a, t- that's, a good, that's a good draft class. Yeah, like, yeah. That, you know, I'm not saying it'll be better than that. I'm saying we haven't seen one as good. You know, yeah, that, that's the last that, one. Yeah. But yeah. Last year last year was I a I wasn't dud. big on last year. Yeah, last year was a dud. wasn't big on the year Kyler. before that. You didn't like Kyler either, so no. that, was, that was tough. Um, well, that was it was the Josh Allen it, year before that. You're saying the year before yes, Josh yeah, Allen, yeah. The, the Baker Mayfield year, technically, because yeah. he went first. Um, yeah, all right. So so you're, what, technically I'm buying. buying? I'm buying that it's a deep, yeah, yeah, deep quarterback. I think it's a deep quarterback class. All right. Uh, Broncos will make the playoffs next year. Yes. Oh, bye, bye, bye. Yeah. Yes. I know you, I know you to put your stand. That's why I thought let me about buy, Let me buy again. Let me buy, let me buy twice. Buy ten of those. Oh, man. I think I think the Broncos are a 10-win team next year. I'm wow. so Let's high on the paper. Broncos. There we yeah. go. No, I really do, man. The Broncos have... 
they have the infrastructure to be a really good football team. Yeah, they. I really believe in in Locke. I've seen enough out of him. I think he's the guy. I I was big on him. I mean, we're talking about quarterback draft class. Locke was my number two guy last year. I mean, it was Kyler and then Locke. Sure how far he fell too. Yeah, man. and he fell into the second round, and it was like the the the. Uh, can't talk today uh, the broncos come out and they draft a lineman and then they draft lock they actually trade up the next pick to I think get it's because they knew that weird. they could yeah yeah it was it was kind of a strange thing that happened but as like i remember that pick and being like this has to be where drew lock goes because i was drew lock's cheerleader the entire i mean we were at the draft that first day and the entire draft i'm like man where's lock he going? was there too yeah he yeah, oh, yeah. Lock, lock, i was like i was shocked that lock didn't go in the first round i mean the Dolphins. I, I was looking at like man let's take drew lock i didn't think he'd be there at 12 you know yeah. Yeah. And he was, and shit, we could have gotten him the second time around. Um, so, what do the Broncos need to do this the, off season? The Broncos need to need to go offense. I think they should go offensive line. Uh, the first pick, uh, they need to shore up that offensive line. They need to they need to add some depth on the defensive line. They they have a couple undrafted uh, rookies that are that are starting at the the tail end of their uh, their depth. I've gone into this. I really yeah. I've looked at I've looked at the Broncos a lot. I'm really excited about the Broncos. Um, they have the wide receivers. They I think they need one more. I think that's one more of a free agent pickup. I think they're they get some kind of guy. I don't I don't have a name off the top of my head. But they get some kind of number two receiver in free agency. Uh, there's got to be somebody. There always is. You know. Yeah, sure. um, it's a very very deep wide yeah, receiver class. Yeah, too, a very deep wide receiver class. They can get somebody. Um, they need they need a little bit help, a help on the back end, but they can get away with it defensively in general. Uh, it really doesn't matter because they have such a great defensive coach. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, Vic Fangio after a season of being there. Oh yeah, he's the head coach. Yeah, he's, yeah, I, yeah know. I think he's gonna. St- I think they're, they're gonna say. I think they like what they've seen so far. You know, as far as you know what he's been able to do with that talent. The more talent they get in on that team, the better that defense is going to get. But that defense is still going to be a top ten. They're top ten right now. Like I and I don't care about the numbers. I'm telling you, watching football, the Broncos are a top ten defense in the NFL. Like they yeah. consistently are keeping teams under twenty points. They just haven't really had an offense to to produce. And now I think they do. I, I really do. I still like Lindsay. I think Philip Lindsay's great as, at running back. I think I really like Lock as I've said. And Sutton, Corton Sutton, is a dynamic number one receiver so he's top he's 15 in yeah, the league? he i think so yeah, yeah i think i think he'd be right in there maybe 20 but he's yeah good. i'm fine with that um i think Cortland sun's one of those guys who's like man second third round in fantasy drafts i'm gonna be like yeah let's let's get court and sun because i and think it would be, be an that you wouldn't normally think of yeah, yeah. oh absolutely um so yeah with, with all that said I think I think the Broncos, and then we we add on. Okay, they get to play the Ravens, the Raiders twice. They get to play the Chargers twice. We don't think they're going to be great. Um, yes, they play the they have to play the Chiefs, but play I think them, they play them well though. I think that I think the the yeah they do play the, the yeah Chiefs they play well. them they really, really well. do. Um, I think the uh, the Broncos are going to be that team that the Chargers were last year for mm-hmm. the Chiefs. This year the Chiefs have kind of run away with the division. Yeah, last year the Chargers were right there till it was the very 10 and end, six, eleven and five. Yeah, yeah, fighting for that division the entire way. I think that's what the Broncos are going to do. I think they're going to be a, a surprise, and I say that in air quotes because no one else is going to see it, but a, a surprising 10 uh, win team that makes it in the playoffs and that, you know, either fifth seed or three seed, depending on if they get the division or not. Uh, somewhere in that's that ballpark. good stuff. Yeah, no, I, I really believe in them, though. Yeah. Fire away with it. All right, sorry, I went on a rant. <laughs> um, all right, uh, college football video game will come back next year and rival Madden. Rival, it will beat it. Will I'm buying that Times more than two. you bought the Broncos? Thing. <laughs> I can't wait. I've said it for years. I would pay X amount of dollars for a college football video game. I have a mod on Xbox that I keep trying to refresh and download that allows me to have the top 32 college teams on Madden with the logos and players. I live for it. And I, I know, I know, a PS4 can have it. Sorry, I shouldn't have whistled. Uh, PC can I, I, have it. I was it. told not to ever whisper into the mic again. Yeah. My bad. <laughs> well, you get that weird effect of people. You got that ASMR going on. Uh, yes, NCAA is huge. I love it more than anything, and I can't wait for it to come back. Okay. Can't wait. I just wanted, I wanted to bring it up. Like, nobody's been talking about this, this college football video Makes me video so game. happy. So what I want, and I don't know. Years. I haven't looked this up at all. I don't know any of the laws here, how this is going to work at all. I would like to see a different, uh, pro, a different video game company make it other than EA. 
I don't want to yeah, see. Yeah, I would love to see. It. I, I want. Two K would see. knock it out of the water. Well, old Two K would. Two K Five is one of the best football games ever made. Yeah. Uh, and would, then Madden paid the yeah they bought it out yeah and and I actually kind of read a lengthy article where the NFL likes monopolies like they want to have one company that pretty much does everything for that thing so Madden in EA gets football and then you know mm-hmm. but the college football is completely separate from the NFL so college football I I would love to see them go to a different company I don't know what doesn't matter and really put out a really good game and then every year we as the consumers get to watch EA with Madden try and uh, pick their game up every single year to because compete. that's what gives Madden that edge to where they have to okay it's it's different Madden, than a roster Madden slaps update. a new coat of paint every single year yeah they do I mean and I mean because what else can you do there's no more jukes pretty much they'll yeah. add a few new animations they'll change the announcers every now and then yeah and they'll add some uniforms that some teams spiced up yeah that's where we're at yeah um you know and it, and it sucks I, I love playing Madden I love the game but it doesn't have any it's stagnant you yeah, know they need I'd a big love to change. See them change it I, and i kind of like what they've done right now where there's like arcade mode kind of things where it's yeah, like playing, we play playing knockout football. mode a lot yeah or you, or you like uh, there's the there's the uh they added abilities this year they did it yeah there's cool job. it's cool yeah I, I agree with that it's not bad but i think as a, for ncaa to succeed i need to have in-depth recruiting like they had in 14 okay. they could expand oh, on that this. so give much me, too give me your best version all right so in-depth recruiting let's I, hear it like it was where if you were the coach at this team, you had pipeline states that mm-hmm. you would just flow with talent. So, I mean, you could go somewhere, and as long as that coach had deep roots from where he was, mm-hmm. you could just have those. You know, you could pull a four star out of there and go to a small school. And there's, there could be a work. really, really in depth franchise mode where they you could do, do that. so much with where them. we, where it's like uh, us as friends are on, and like I'm Florida State and you're Auburn, and it's like, and we're actually fighting yeah. for this. And, and they had it in NCAA 14 where yeah. you got to lay out the. You could pick his visit. You could pick when you offer him the scholarship. Yeah. You could make promises to him about when he gets on the field and stuff. Yeah. They had that that many years ago. So I'm expecting you're big me you things. Can't make it. I, I at least want that. I at least want well, that. Tell to do that same stuff. I, I want to see. I want to hear everything. Gosh, um, they need to make it to where. Of, I mean, it'll be updated with a playoff mode. That'll be incredible to yeah, see. That'll be fun. Um, I want it to be able to have it where they have an expansion mode just in case that happens. Okay. I think it's coming in a few years. I really do. Big 12 guy said that he thinks for the playoff to expand, the SEC or ACC needs to get left out. He said with pretty much talking about SEC big-headedness, mm-hmm. you know, if SEC ever got left out, we would do whatever we could to make sure that we yeah. get a team in. So I would want the video game to have that ready in case you were able to do that because yeah. – Well, for, I mean, it's going to be the same thing where they come out every year. So you, Yeah, you get I that. know. Yeah. Um, the biggest thing is rec- the recruiting. You stuff. want the recruiting. The stuff That's that, the most important to you. The, well, because it's the way you can make a dynasty go on for yeah. years and years, knowing that you could go like I'll randomly do it and be like, let's go to Rice, yeah, and let's just see if we can rebuild Rice or Rutgers or mm-hmm. just see if we can, you know, just bring a team back. That's yeah. that's fun. I like doing that. Oh yeah. All right. I want to give you. I, I know I'd get a yeah, lot. of You got hype on the Broncos. I know. I, I got I, passion I, about I NCAA know. football. I knew you would. <laughs> By God, that's my favorite. Yeah. Now I'm gonna rally you up. Uh, <laughs> Dolphins' first three picks will be all offense. No, so so hard. Just because of uh, what? Okay, so I'm going to give you two things. I'm going to give you what I think they should do. Yeah, and I I truly believe this. Fuck. Well, I know I know you're not big on the offensive side right now. No, if they go offense, get an offensive lineman. That's it. I don't care about any other position. Get an offensive lineman. Yeah. And if they go defense, get a defensive lineman. That's all I want. First three picks. That's all I want. I think it's boring. I don't care. I don't it's care. Boring. I want them to build a good football team. I don't want an exciting but, draft. But why I don't do you care? Why, I don't. I don't agree with I building be, it like that, though. Okay, well, okay. It's a different, it's a different format, isn't it? I think you got to have people that are going to put butts in seats. I, I get that, but look, you don't. We, it's unfortunate. It's a great wide receiver class. We don't need a wide receiver. Devontae Parker came out this year. Like he's yeah, he looks really good. good. We yeah. gave him the contract. He looks great, and he's going to be injury prone, which is going to suck. He's going to be one of those guys who gets hurt every single fucking year. I can tell you that right now. Mike Gusecki's a good tight end. Mike Gusecki he is a good tight end. Uh, Preston Williams, who's an undrafted wide receiver because of off the field issues, mm-hmm. he came out and did awesome. He got hurt mid through the season but he's going to come back next year and be awesome i, I think, think you could take a running back we could we, okay yes we should take a running back not in the first two rounds you could take a quarterback we should take a quarterback period no no qualifier there but, my point is but, i think if you rebuild something do it like go I, for it okay yes but i want to re uh, this is what i think we, they should do yeah. i think that they should rebuild it in the form of building up your trenches, build it the right way, and then go get a quarterback that you truly believe in. I'm, what I'm saying is, if we're at the five 
and and Joe Burrow's already gone, obviously, and and Herbert's already gone. Me personally, I'm not taking a quarterback this year because not not in the first two picks because I don't believe. I 100 percent agree with that mentality. I, of, I, we I, have this box to fill, but we don't like him. We're just going to get I'd it to fill. Wait. Don't do that. Yeah, I'd rather wait. I'm fine with that. Let's let's test out Rosen next year. Like, yeah, like let's give him a give him a little bit of offensive line and see what he can do. I'm if that's what it comes to. I'm fine with that. What they're gonna do? Yeah, they're probably gonna they're probably gonna take defense in the first round, or for, well, they get three picks in the first round. So that's what I'm oh, saying. That, I, that I said, was oh, I you're said right. All three would be. You're I said, right. You're because right. Because the yeah. thought was that you go quarterback, then you grab that receiver, then you grab that lineman, or any order of that, and it's like, yeah, let's get this side think, of the ball ready. Yeah, I, I think what they're probably gonna do is is go all defense if they if anything. Yeah. Wow, so you would go all more, defense. I think it's offense. more likely that we have a, just we because have of a, Brian Flores. Yeah, it's Brian yeah. Flores. Uh, I think Brian Flores can look at that defense and be like, man, these are the pieces that I need mm-hmm. to make a, a team. Because you know the offense isn't gr- good, but they're putting up points. Like if you go back and look the look at the numbers, they have been able to put up points, and so you're not too worried about that. Obviously, you know we're not going to be a great offense next year, but we weren't a good enough team to just be good next year all, all of a sudden like it's going to be more more than one year rebuild so yeah i think i think it's far more likely that we go all defense uh, give the pieces to ryan flores who has honestly he's done so much with so little yes i've been incredibly impressed with the amount of talent he's been able or the amount of you played yourself uh, out of the one spot yeah i mean, I mean the amount said, of production we've been able we to made get a out bet of like on week 11 team. that 20 bucks at the dolphins wouldn't win a game yeah i mean that's how bad it was do it. Uh, he's and look where you're at and what he did is he produced a, he put a culture in before he put in a playbook like i mean that's that that, that, that was more important than the playbook was the culture and i loved it I, i'm excited about it good um but yeah that's so sell <laughs> yeah so <laughs> at the end of the day uh duh, 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 sorry my next question is wow we're going back to the dolphins josh rosen's career is already over all that's right weird how so, we didn't even talk about yeah i know isn't that crazy um sell yeah you, once oh, a, you are selling okay once again i believe that uh, like the same way that you do with the Dolphins, I don't think you should take a Tua right there. I don't think. Yeah, but we probably will. You probably will. But what I what should happen? I I agree with getting a receiver. I do think it would help the offense mm-hmm. if you were to have more. I always think more and get a running back or something. Mm-hmm. Definitely with an offensive lineman. Let's see Rosen do it. I mean, why? Well, so, it's just so unfair to see him not get. A, it's that, yeah. that's kind of where this started. I was I was thinking about it actually on the way here. Man, Josh Rosen got so 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 unlucky. With just the situation, like there's no, there's no way he could have predicted going to the going to Arizona. Arizona trades up for this kid, trades up into the draft to get to get Josh Rosen, and then you know the coach gets fired. They bring in a different guy. That different guy wants you know their guy, you know his uh, Kyler Murray, and and he already is out of the first team he was at before he really did anything. He didn't do anything wrong in Arizona. No. He had no chance I mean, he to didn't, He didn't play great, but you're not expected you to. You can't put anybody exactly. in that situation to, to play great. And he goes to the Dolphins, and he kind of got a shot. But really what, what it came down to is morale was so low that everyone believed we were tanking. And we knew Josh Rosen, he's, he's in a scheme that's complicated. He's, he's, he's in a scheme he's never seen before. And then you have this veteran quarterback who can handle that faster, put it together a lot faster. And he and we're playing Rosen, and we're playing Rosen because we want to see what we can get out of him. But the rest of the team is like, yeah, oh, you, we're you won't really see what you're so getting you, out of him. So they almost had to make the move to put to put uh, uh, Fitzpatrick in to keep the locker room together. Because yeah. you lose locker room, then it doesn't matter what happens next year or what you who how many pieces you put in. Flores knows the second I lose this locker room, my career is over. This is my lot. You know, this is coaches don't get that many chances. Maybe he gets another one, but this this he has to look at it like this is my only shot. So. Uh, I'm selling. That's good. Yeah. I like it. Okay. I think Rosen needs a, needs a chance. Fair enough. Yeah. So I, I said all that to say, Rosen got put in this terrible fucking spot. I hope he gets a shot, but will he ever? At this point, I don't think he will. I think you will get to or Herbert. Okay, but not with the Dolphins. Do you think he gets a chance anywhere else? Uh, maybe. I yeah. mean, there's so many quarterbacks looking for a spot like Mariota. So, so are I mean, you selling or buying? Because if you're if if you think that, then you should be buying. Career's already over. I mean, that's it. Uh, and over, what I by think over, they should do or what I think is going to happen. That's what, what I think. Yeah. yeah, what you think is going to happen. Because I'm not saying over like, oh, he'll never get a chance. He's going to go somewhere and probably yeah. be a backup somewhere. But his his career, his chance to be a starting quarterback. quarterback at the Dolphins? No. Yeah. No, no. No. Okay, fair enough. This is interesting. We'll stop talking about the I Dolphins. I just don't want to put my stamp next to that as I think that's what should happen. I just believe that's going to happen. Yeah. All right, so assuming you don't have any more dolphin stuff, we're probably done with dolphins. Don't have any dolphin stuff. Okay. I do. I'm keeping this next one in, in y'all's division, though. Okay. Um, Buffalo will win the division next year. 
Really? That's not that far fetched. The Patriots play in that division. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they, y'all were, what, 11 in a row or something like that they've I, taken? The Dolphins got 07. Other than that, it's been the Patriots for 20 years. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> I mean, so Buffalo win the division next year by or sell? So I can't. I can't. Till you see this, it happen. This is yeah. the second one where I like it's the Patriots. Like, yeah, I don't like it. Yes, I look at the I look at the the Bills and I'm like, man, there's so much more talent on this team than the Patriots. But can you really? Can you honestly buy that? Can I honestly look at myself and be like, yes, I've I've seen the Patriots win with less. I, they had less last year, in my opinion. And yeah. They won it all. So Once I, again, we're talking down to them in their 12 win, 13 yeah, win team. So yeah. I, I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna look at them as, as if they're not what they are, and they're the greatest dynasty we've ever seen. And I'm not gonna project them to n- not win the division until they don't. <laughs> like I'm not, see, I'm not gonna look at it as possible until yeah, it actually happens. <laughs> I agree with that. I mean, that's safe to say. I think Buffalo has a chance if they go out and get a good playmaker, whether it be uh, oh, they're draft going wide free receiver agency. First. Yes. They're going wide receiver in the and first round. I, I think, think it could be exciting to see. What if they trade up? I would love to see it. Yeah, make the uh, I would love to the see Atlanta the Falcons same, type of Exactly. Move. I would love to see it. Yeah. Give away your first and second and go get your yeah, guy. Go get your Go guy. get CD. Go get Judy. Go. That'd be awesome. Whoever. Yeah. That'd be good. So, But you're selling. I got to sell. That's yeah. fine. I just That's don't fine. see it. I, I don't fine. really have anything else to have I mean, there. I don't either. All right. My last one. Colts will stick with Brissett long long term. So he got a two year deal. He got he got paid. He got like fifty million dollars to play the next two seasons, uh, and it's almost like a, let's see what you can do. Jacoby Brissett. Yeah. He's played well. He hasn't played terribly, but you're cons- he, when you play really well in the NFL, but you're not spectacular. Everyone's gonna always look and be like. What could we get? Yeah, like we could be. So better do I'm going to sell. I think the Colts yeah. will move on. I think he will stay there throughout that contract. Mm. I just don't think he's going to do enough. I don't think they'll win the division. Mm. Um, it being I think they the, could last year. They could. They next could. Year. There's a chance. Yeah. Yes, they the could. AFC South's always. Weird. I don't think that they will. Um, okay. I think that they'll be in a spot where, you know, there's quarterbacks there, and they might take one. I'm not saying this year. Uh, free agency, you never know. It's always moving mm. around. I just don't. After this two-year window. Brissett's going to want money, you know, and it's just like, are we going to do that again just to be mediocre? Yeah. Or can we, you know, I mean, they're blessed to go from Manning to Luck. I mean, yeah. that, that was incredible. Now they're kind of in this window yeah. where. Well, that that was actually what I wanted to, to touch on is we're talking about a franchise that over the last, since since the new, <laughs> since since 1999, they've either had Peyton Manning or Andrew Luck. It's crazy. You know, the, that's that's the, that's been their career other than one bad year. And then this year, well, I guess like two bad years because Andrew Luck missed an entire season. Um, so you, you look at a franchise and a fan base that's used to really, really good quarterback play. And you have Brissett, who, who, by the way, like I, I, for the average fan who doesn't watch a lot of Colts games, He's good. He he's is. Really, he's There's really a good times football top player. ten quarterback, no yeah, doubt. Yeah, he, he. But I mean, he's not. He he's not going to lead your team to a Super Bowl. He you can't, needs, you he can't needs even the speak of him in the same light of Peyton and Andrew. No, and that's no, he's and not. with fans that are used to that, you know, it, it's a little different. That's tough to get. It, it, <laughs> it's no, tough it to is. Get. You can you can definitely both you, of those when they were coming out were unanimous like my, generational. My. My thing about it is if you do move on is you can talk yourself into the next guy is the next Peyton and him be far worse than Brissett ever was. It could. Like yeah. that that's happened plenty of times where a, we've watched Brissett is a good yeah. can win you games and can win can win a Super yeah. Bowl. I think he needs more of a team around him. Yeah. Uh, than I mean, Peyton it could, it, like they could easily get like a Sanchez type of guy who's like, oh, first couple of years you think he's great and then it's like, oh no. Yeah, he's he's out of the that. NFL. Um so I I I think they should stick with them. I don't think they will, though, just just because last. Yeah. So I think we're on the same. Page. I don't think they will. Yeah. Uh, my last one. This will wrap it up, I guess. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're, no better way to do it with a drama queen. Odell will be a Cleveland Brown week one next season. Yes, I, I, I'm going to buy that. I do think so. Um, I don't. Th- this is let, let's not even look at it as the player because I'm so tired of talking about Odell and trying to like figure out what's going on in his mind. It doesn't matter, right? His play declined enough to where I don't feel like he has the right to be the drama queen that he is. And and in general, I'm not a huge fan of drama queens anyway. Yeah. But we'll, we'll put all that to the side. Just economically speaking, you can't give up a first-round pick and all the all the stuff that you gave up to get Odell Beckham Jr. and then sell him off for pennies on the dollar. And the reason it would be pennies on the dollar is is because no team is going to look at what Elda, Odell Beckham has done on the field with a good team around him. We can't, you can't really shit on the on the Browns that much talent wise. Not the way, yeah, their yeah. talent is there with a good team around him with a quarterback that we all thought was really good last year, and I think we still think is can be really good. I still like Baker. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. 
you're not going to look at that. You're not going to look at that and then also look at all the off-field shit. And that's what it is. It's shit that, that Odell puts together. And and say yeah let's let's put let's let's invest a first round pick in this guy oh they will not get and that. the money yeah. and yeah. and the money that's the key because just because you, you're not work. yeah because you're not just getting Odell Beckham you're getting a, a huge contract along mm-hmm. with it um and and I do I do want to preface all that by saying or at least I, I want to walk back one thing Odell hasn't been a complete. Uh, off the field nuisance like he's not out there fucking around and, and doing shit that's illegal or wrong no like no. I, I don't i don't want i don't want to paint him in the light of like a bad guy yeah he's just a guy who got so he's a dra- famous so queen, yeah he's just a drama yeah. queen who who is out there on the team saying come get me i don't respect that i have an issue with that as a person but you know that's that's besides the point that's just a football thing i think he'll be with him too yeah. uh i do i really wanted to see odell be with the greats of all time. I felt like he had the talent level to be up there, and he's just not right now. Yeah, I uh, I completely agree. Um, it seemed like the first couple of years in the league, he was going to be on that trajectory to be one of the greats of all time, and, you know, things changed. He's been hurt the past couple of years, it seems like. You know, even this year, he wasn't he didn't have any season-long injuries, but he was he was nicked, uh, nicked out a lot, I feel like. Um, so, yeah, I, I absolutely agree with that. And he's he's not, and we'll see if he ever gets back to that point. Yeah. Uh, right now, it doesn't look awesome for him. It really doesn't. No. Um, but we'll move on. So we're going to go to game picks. We're going to do game picks just a little bit different because a lot of these games don't matter, and I feel like a it's lot week 17. Of, yeah, I just feel like it's kind of boring to go. Like, like this is the first week of the year that I'm not going to watch every game. Like, yeah. Like, I'm just not. It's not. It's just not fun. Um, but there are a couple interesting uh, games that we do have to talk about. Uh, we'll stay We'll stay at home for the first one. Titans. Uh, obviously, play the Texans. Who do you have in that game? Um, Titans. Titans. Now, this is... Pick them with my heart. Yeah, this is Houston. I also... I think I'm going to pick the Titans, or the Titans as well. I just don't want to pick against Houston. Um, yeah, the Titans need to get to 9-7. and seven. If they lose this, they're an 8-8 eight and eight team, and it's almost like, man, you, you, you forget about that great run that Daniel mm-hmm. and the Titans had. And, and that would be sad. I don't feel like that deserves to be forgotten. Uh, I'd like to see them in the playoffs, see what they can do. And I am rooting for them. Uh, a win in their end for them. Um... I do want to talk about this. The Raiders play the Broncos this week, right? The, oh, all the crazy, the craziness. The, there's so a last, chance. So last week, going into the week, there were ten things, ten different things that had to happen, and five of them were week sixteen, five of them were week seventeen for the Raiders to actually get the playoffs. They had this super, super outside chance. Well, all five things happened for the Raiders last week, and we're going to see this week what happens. I don't have all five. It's like a parlay. Right. you know. Ten, yeah. When you look at every single one individually, yeah. uh, Titans lose. There's a good chance for that. Yeah. The Steelers lose. Against at Baltimore, yeah. there's a chance for that. The Raiders yeah. win. Well, That's three out of the five Colts right have there. have to win, I think, or something like that. Yes, and the Raiders yeah. have to win by more than – Someone else's margin of victory. Yeah. I think it's the so, Steelers. So, so the the basic, which is higher than them right now, though. So the Raiders are already in the league. Is there a margin of victory thing? Yes. Okay. Um. The yeah, because the Raider it, basically what has to happen is the Raiders have to get into a tie for the six seed, and if it's eight and eight, the uh the t- the tie goes to the Raiders through whatever you have to. Decided. Yeah. If you make it more than a three or four, it, when it's a head to head, you yeah. know, like just one and two teams. They'll take in head-to-head record against those two teams, yeah, but, three, but if it's more than that, they exactly. don't look at head-to-head. So, so the Raiders have a chance to get in, yeah, even so though they've be been uh, So I'm going to give you this Raiders Broncos. We're not going to talk about every game. I just want to talk about the Raiders Broncos because there's the Raiders. Chance. I think they will keep I, their the Raiders odds win this alive game for, as well. Yeah. yeah, I think the Raiders absolutely win this game. Broncos are going to give them a shot. The Broncos have, have loved playing up. Be a this good year. win for the Broncos just yeah. to. Leave it on a good note, you know, going to next year. They'd go seven and nine. It wouldn't be a terrible season, really. Um, just an average one. <laughs> um, all right, so we're going to go the big one in the NFC, the 49er Seahawks. A lot of playoff uh, – well, there's no playoff implications. It's all seeding implications yeah. on, this, on the line here. Um, obviously, 49ers win, and they have the one seed. If the Seahawks win, they – probably have the two seed but it could be one two or three depending on other other teams and what happens um niners so, give me the niners i'm gonna say the niners too especially with the injuries um it doesn't feel like they're gonna may have a different answer if they play each other in the playoffs we'll see just depends yeah, on where it's at I, I absolutely agree with that um so it, it's it's pretty crazy to talk about this but if, if the seahawks did win um, they would they would technically get the number one seed uh, if they if they tie uh, they would be at the if the 
let me rephrase that. Okay, so if the Seahawks win, they go to 12-4. and four. Well, if the uh, Packers and Saints also win, the, it's a three-way tie for they would all be 12-4, and four, uh, and they would technically get the number one seed. Now, if they do that and then the – and then the uh, Saints. Oh, excuse me, I, I misspoke. Uh, the Saints have to lose, and the Packers have to win. So if they if they play if if the Saints lose and the Packers win, and they win, they get the one seed. If the Saints win, they get the uh, two seed, and the Packers get uh, and the Saints get the one seed. So a lot of different uh, scenarios there. So we will talk about a couple of those games. Uh, so you do have the 49ers. I have the 49ers as well. Um, and then let's look at the the the. A Saints play the Panthers. Who do you think is going to win that? I think uh, the Saints. Yeah, I think it's probably the Saints as well. And then the last the win one, matters for them yeah, just because absolutely. they can get the, the home field. And then the last one is the Packers, uh, who play the Lions. Probably a win there as well. Yeah, I mean Packers have the division wrapped. Yeah. Um, seeding does matter, so yeah, they're going to play for it. I think. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean it's the Lions. Yeah. I don't absolutely. think you have to play much. <laughs> Not very hard. Yeah. Um, and then last game we're going to talk. Well, actually, I think that was the last game we're going to talk about. the The other two that will will I'll give you the question. I think we both agree who's going to win: Eagles and Giants. Um, the, Eagles. The Eagles. Yeah, play the Giants, and if they win. They have the. Uh, I want to see the Eagles in the playoffs. Yeah, they have the, the playoffs. They they have the playoffs at nine and seven. If the Eagles somehow lose that game and the cowboys win the cowboys will be in at eight and eight gosh and with, which is with the way that their weird. team is shaped with zeke he yeah. technically can take over a game yeah and by the way cowboys play the redskins so it seems, yeah they, they're both that also seems the pretty likely um so it'll be interesting to see what happens here um that's it uh, the rest of the games are are essentially meaningless I, I guess technically the steelers play the ravens who aren't playing anybody who knows on that one i Tend to think the Steelers probably win that just because the Ravens aren't playing for anything. They yeah. don't care. Um, but I mean, there's, there's a small chance the Steelers get in. I don't. Well, yeah, I guess it's really not even that. Ravens small. are sitting like seven people though. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see what happens, guys. Uh, thank you so much for listening. Uh, Hope you. Do. I had fun on this one. This, this was, was a, a good this one. was a long one. This was really fun. I, I really enjoyed the, the craziness. I'm going to clip out a lot of these conversations because I felt like it was really good. Yeah. Uh, very free forming. We actually planned on this podcast being about 30 minutes shorter than it was. No so, joke. So that yeah. is crazy. I'm glad, though. We consistently hit this point. Um, <laughs> we're going to end up going 120, I think, after it's all said and done. Um, and, uh, yeah, so follow at Between Pylons. Follow the uh, YouTube channel, which I'm trying to put out a lot of stuff. And um, I have a surgery. Well, no, I guess not surgery. I'm, i got a cleanup to go to this weekend, so I probably won't be putting out a lot of content yeah. this week, but that's fine. Um, thanks, guys. We'll be back. Seven. Bye.